Hello and welcome. My name is Patrick, in case you don't know my name. But that name too doesn't mean so much. I'm coming you, to you today from my paradise. And paradise is on a piece of land that's not my own, but we're living here. And as you can see, it's in the jungle and it is beautiful. I'm coming to share with you today the peace and the presence of being here in this beautiful nature. Recently, I heard about a trend and it's called biophilic. And of course, instantly I was kind of intrigued and curious, what is this all about? And it so happens is something that's really beautiful. As a philosopher, of course, I know that Phil has to do with being a lover, like philosophy is the love of Sophia, wisdom. And biophilic is actually the love for nature, of course. And so I got quite excited. For me, it's vitality, living in vitality. Everything I do, I love to give life to myself, to the world, to the plants, to the trees, to the animals. And so biophilic is actually a quite nice trend. And like many other trends that came out last year after the first lockdown that we kind of experience globally. The other one that is interesting as a trend is the metamorphic design. All of these things are often related to design and doing things in a different way and of course applied to architecture, interior design, but also to personal services. How do we interact with each other? How do we live as lovers of nature? How do we live transforming into a homo luminous? men and women of the of the light so very interesting how we can now choose different places in trends and still find our own niche so the words become very interesting we have now upcycling not only recycling what are you doing with all of that how not to fit in because we don't need to conform with everything, but how does it inspire you? Where do these things take you in your life, in your business, in your personal life? Where does it all take you? Are you a lover of nature? How do you bring this into your work or what we call joy flow? How do you live like that? Do you compost? Do you plant? Do you have a connection to life, to nature? Or do you just enjoy eating what comes from nature or enjoy looking at it? Are you active as a lover of nature? So I'm inviting you today to explore the peace that comes with maybe connecting peace and presence and let's do four P's potential not just the potential that you have in, in getting more success and reaching more things but the potential this pure and within you what is your potential really to earn more money to get another promotion to have your own business that's not pure potential. That is just the next step on your professional life, if you wish. Your pure potential is more about how are you able to live? What is the, the quality, the vitality of your life? How much do you feel life? How much light can you let in and how much light can you shine into your world? That's pure potential. And presence is being here. Your I am presence is not this physical body that I enjoy very much. 
and appreciate and love and nurture. The presence is beyond. It's the consciousness that is infinite. Nobody can take it from you. Nobody can invade it. Nobody can lock it down. <laughs> our consciousness, our presence is what actually is always here. The body is given to us so we can experience life. But the presence, your I am presence, is much more than that. So presence also very important. And it's interesting, the first two P's, the pure potential and the presence, they all come from within. And as you are within and you learn how to share the presence, magic happens. Your environment will really change. And you may also come into the third P for today, which is peace. Peace is something that we're all looking for. Peace is when we stop chasing and hiding and living in fight, flight, fear, or even hoarding. Peace is when we're all right. When we make peace with life, our childhood, our traumas, whatever happened to us, when we get peace, it's not peace of mind. The peace is here in the heart and in that presence that maybe smiles as it observes how we choose to learn, how we choose to suffer, how we choose to break out and set free. So the peace is what I come to share with you. So I brought a little flute ocarina they call that a friend of mine made it it's very special and i'm inviting you to come within and experience some of your peace some of your presence and your pure potential that makes you smile in the midst of whatever happens in your world and helps you to stay here connected to that part of you that's always going to be here beyond this life beyond this body beyond all the current circumstances so just enjoy with me to come into your three peas within the peace and your presence your i am presence and your pure potential, that it is infinite and limitless as your I am presence. I'm ensuring that you are in sacred space to fully allow this. You may want to focus on your breath, and close your eyes.
to stay with me for a moment in your peace, in your pure potential, and in your I am presence. Feel the power in being here and emanating your light that comes from it into the world. Enlighten your environment. Love. All that is. Appreciate and be grateful. Thank you for sharing this present moment with me. Thank you for opening your heart and your three Ps. And maybe don't let them go again. Stick with them. Try it again. And enjoy what comes your way. Enjoy being here and sharing your three Ps with your world. Namaste.